arrest of a man accused of shooting at an Olive Hill police officer has been sent to the grand jury. A judge found probable cause in court today. News Channel 3's Marley Pinchock joins us on scene outside the courthouse. The judge found enough probable cause and now the case heads to a grand jury. Wesley Cornell showing up in the courtroom Tuesday morning for his preliminary hearing. Lieutenant Garner with Kentucky State Police took the stand to testify. He was one of the law enforcement officers on scene. Cornell is accused of shooting at an Olive Hill police officer while that officer was in his cruiser. It happened back on June 12th. According to Kentucky State Police, a shot was fired in to the officer's cruiser, shattering the window. The officer's arm was hit by the broken glass, and he was then flown to the hospital for non-life-threatening injuries. There's no doubt in my mind that day he was he was out to kill a law enforcement officer. Lewis County Sheriff Johnny Bivens says Cornell continued to put law enforcement in danger as they worked to track him down. Striking a Lewis County Sheriff's cruiser, uh, hitting a tree that a sergeant with the Kentucky State Police was behind four times. Sheriff Vivens says in addition to Cornell firing multiple shots toward law enforcement, the kind of ammunition that was used adds to the intention behind the pulled trigger. You know, this wasn't bird shot. This was double white buck. Yeah, double white buck is commonly used to hunt large game animals. So, you know, that, that was his intent. Uh, now, his motive, I don't know. Uh, but I know that his intentions, no doubt in my mind, it, uh, was to kill law enforcement. According to the Lewis County Sheriff, Cornell's bond remains at $1 million. In Lewis County, Kentucky, Marley Pinchuk, WSAZ News Channel 3. As of now, Cornell faces a charge of wanton endangerment.